Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Always back with another video on the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create a project using this tool called NX. It is fast build system, which allows you to create multiple projects in a one wrap away. So we'll take a look at how do we use this CLI for creating an Angular project. And I'll show you how the one wrapper can help you to build multiple projects within one single repository. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with this tutorial. In the terminal, let's start by typing nx create-nx-workspace and then the name of your workspace. In this case, I'm giving it test project. Once you press enter, you get to choose a lot of options. You get core, TypeScript, React, Angular. What we are interested in is going to be Angular-Nest. Once you select that, specify the name. In this case, I'm going to specify test project and use SAS as style sheet. Select no because I don't want to use NX Cloud to build my projects. It is now installing dependencies using NPN. It's creating workspace for us now. There you go. It has created a project for us successfully. Let's open this project in VS Code and let me walk you through the configuration of this project and show you how it. You can open your project from terminal in VS Code, type code and then name of your project. Click on I trust the author. Let's go and open package.json file. In package.json file, you'll see your dev dependencies and also the main dependencies. Here you have Angular dependencies. Next you have Nest.js dependencies. So basically it's installing everything in the outer package.json. And these are your dev dependencies. Annex also creates us some scripts that we can use to run our project, build our project. If you're using Visual Studio Code, you go to extension, search for Annex. And the first extension you will see will be Annex Console. Install that. This is an extension to deal with Annex commands. Now on the left, click on Annex Console and you have these commands generate and run targets. So you can easily run, build, test your application. Next you have common commands like running many applications or running just one. You have a project overview where you can see how many projects that you have in this mono wrapper. Right now we've got API and test project, which is an Angular project and API was a Nest project. Let me quickly give you an overview of this folder structure. So right above, we have two folders called libs and apps. Apps is where your actual source code is going to exist. Libs is where you will write like utility libraries, all the helper files will go here. And then you got node modules to install dependencies. In tools, you have some generators. So I would recommend to take a look at the documentation on Annex. Now you have some of your common stuff, for example, git ignore, ESLint, 3 and you got Angular JSON for your Angular project. You'll see it tells you you got projects, API path, API interface library, a test project, and an end-to-end -end project for Angular. So this all configured automatically for you. Also, we have this decorate Angular JSON. So I'd like to, you know, uh, show you this file is very important. I'll take a look at this, what it can do for you here in the documentation. Next, we have this NX JSON. This is your entry point for your NX workspace. So right now you can see on the top here, we got some configurations for test dependencies, runners, implicit dependencies, and then you got generators that you can use to generate things like library, component, application. So you can go ahead and configure a few of things here. Next, we got package.json, which is a common uh, npm package file, ts config base. So here's a configuration which goes to everywhere in all the projects. But every project that you'll notice will have its own ts config. So if I go to API, you can see there's a ts config which being extended by the base. Then you got spec config and then app config for the ts. Here's a project JSON in every 
project, you will see a project.json, which will basically have information around your project. For example, where the NX is finding the commands for serve, linked, and test, it's here. So you got serve, executor is going to be this one, and then build target is this one. So this is where the NX console will see all the commands. So for example, within this project, you have a command which will we will be able to serve you see this project here but let's go and i'm gonna just grab this and i'm gonna paste it again and i'm gonna say testing command save that and then you will notice here this is our api project so we'll go to api and here you have this testing command so when you click on this play button it will run this command so right now it will actually build it because we're not just using uh, any other script just using the build so that's why so this is how your project structure look like i have used this in the past it's a lot easier to configure your project using nx and also it will do all the configuration for you out of the box and it's pretty easy to work with the a back end and the front end code together in one repository because you don't have to switch between repository which wastes time so yeah i hope this video was helpful for angular developer who want to use nest as a back end so yeah, subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Cheers.